lives on the line for this camp life. This camp life. This camp life. Yeah, we live this camp life. Yeah, we prophesied this shit to for this camp life. This camp life. Boost lace, you know we came to ride All on your block, don't care about the ops This truth is do or die Come crown the kings and watch how we bleed We here 365, while you and your dreams We on the scene, saving our people's lives oh. What a time, to be alive when it's going down I got both eyes on the same prize If you trying to build, then it's hammer time Acts 2 first, and then go to 1st Corinthians 14. Because we don't listen to Christianity. It's not part of the truth. Speaking in tongues, we speak another language. You do what? Go to Acts 2 1. Acts? Start at verse 1. Acts chapter 2, verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Pentecost. Because the Pentecost is the law of God that we must keep, right? So obviously we know this is this is this is the children of Israel is what you're referring to. Read. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven. Go to, read, no, keep on reading down. Keep on and reading. suddenly there came a sound from heaven mm -hmm. as of a rushing mighty wind, mm -hmm. and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Mm -hmm. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues, mm -hmm. like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. So this is them getting the spirit. Read. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost uh -huh. and began to speak with other tongues. Began to speak with other tongues, read. As the Spirit gave them utterance. Mind you, there was a group of men that was together. And amongst these men, there was a nation of people. Right? It's going to tell you, it's going to explain who they were, read. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem uh -huh. Jews, uh -huh. devout men, out of every nation under heaven. So the people that were they were talking to were Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven, meaning who? All these men had traveled from different places. Why? To keep the Feast of Pentecost. Right? Remember in Deuteronomy 18, it tells you three times a year, you must go to the place that where the Lord has chosen. Right. So right now, you, these devout men out of every nation are coming from where they were scattered to, back to um, Jerusalem. Right? Read. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded uh -huh. because that every man heard them speak in his own language so they these men that remember they were sitting down and the spirit came and gave them different tongues what the different tongues was the other languages in which the men came from those different places they started to speak to the men right yeah the dice the dice was the scattered, the scattered. Mind, you, mind you in Deuteronomy 427 we were scattered right so the Jews who knew they were still Israel came to this place where the peace of Pentecost was being taken. They were, it's going to explain the place that they were, that they were at. We'll, we'll read it. Watch this read. Verse 7. Uh -huh. And they were all amazed and marveled, wow. saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? So the men that were speaking were Galileans. He's like, but aren't these men that are speaking to us right now, aren't they, Gal aren't they, Gal aren't they from Galilee? How are they speaking this language, our, our languages? Read. And how hear we every man in our own tongue? When we were born. How are they speaking in the language where we were born? What did that be from where we're from? This is what they're telling this, they're, this is why they're marvelous. See? Parthians. So and, Parthians, right? And Medes. And the Medes. And Elamites. And the Elamites. The, all these men were from Parthia. They were from Medes. They were from um, uh, Elam, read. And the dwellers in Mesopotamia. Uh-huh. And in Judea. Uh-huh. And Cappadocia. And Pontus. And Asia. So all these men were these different from these different parts, right? These are men that were the devout men that came out of every nation. Right? And Phrygia, uh -huh. and Pamphylia, uh -huh. and Egypt, and in Egypt, and in the parts of Libya, read about Cyrene, and strangers of Rome, uh -huh. Jews and proselytes. All these men were speaking all these different languages from the place that these men were from, right? Cretes and Arabians. So they were speaking Cretes and Arabians. All these men were from these places. So the prophet or the disciples at this time were speaking because they had the Holy Ghost on them, speaking in a language that they could understand. So they were the, the, the tongues and what you're talking about is different languages. All that it means. Give me Proverbs 29, 28. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we gotta get Christianity up. What happens a lot of time is we hold on to what we knew. And hold on to what we what we know right now. But we gotta get get rid of it and do exactly as the Bible says. Proverbs 29, I'm talking about 28. It talks about tongues. 20 uh you know what? It's it's the same as um Peter the Bumpy said. Uh, oh, it's, 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 it's not for me in part. 
Yeah. God bless you. God bless your ministry. Thank I love you. you. Peace to you. Isaiah chapter 28, uh -huh. verse 11. Uh -huh. For with stammering lips, for with stammering lips, and another tongue uh -huh. will he speak to this people. So, and with a stammering lip and another tongue shall he speak to this people. What's the people? The people that were spread, the diaspora. Right? That's why it's not. That's why it's not. That's why we should not get hung up on the uh, the name. Why? Because I don't speak Hebrew. The masses of Israel don't speak Hebrew. So if I come out and I start speaking, give me First Corinthians fourteen, what I want. If I start coming out and speaking in Hebrew, who's going to understand me to receive the word of God? I can't edify this speaking in Hebrew because they speak English. But well, one thing that we can do when we study is Isaiah twenty-eight nine through twelve for some reason. Yes, and that can help us give us the understanding, like we knew Hebrew, as if right. we knew Hebrew. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got what you're saying, but remember. We can, but yeah, think about when, when our job is to do what? Go and teach the people. Now, when it's studying and doing all that, that's different. That's just on your own leisure time. You're studying to get more knowledge and more understanding, right? But when we go out to teach the people, like we was in Acts, we got to be able to, they, they were given the spirit to be able to speak to people in different languages. So if I meet a, 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 a Hispanic brother, right? I, can, I got to speak to him in the language that he knows. I got to say, hey, they don't know you, your, your host. They don't know that, right? If I speak to a so-called black man, I gotta, speak, I gotta say, yo, Jesus Christ, bro. Because that's what he does, language he knows. Right? He might know, oh, yeah, uh, Ahia, Yeshia, right? Yeshua. Are Yeshua, right? Yeshua. If he's been studying or he, he knows a little bit. But more, nine times out of ten, they're gonna know Jesus Christ. Why? Because that's what we've been taught. And that's what language we speak. Exactly, Jesus. right? From day one. day one. So that's what everybody understands. So that's what we keep. But watch this, read. First you know Corinthians. You wanna get straight to the point? Yeah. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 5. Mm -hmm. I would that ye all spake with tongues. He said, I would that ye all speak with different languages, right? But rather that ye prophesied. Uh -huh. For greater is he that prophesied than he that speaketh with tongues. It's greater that we prophesy, right? Prophesy what? The laws of God, right? The destruction of this nation. The, the prophesying what's going to happen to us if we repent. What's going to happen to us if we don't repent, right? I'd rather you prophesy that than to speak with other tongues. So repentance. It's repentance, important. yes. It's more yeah. important than language, yeah. than, than, what, than a name, than what it means. Now, if we can do it, I'd rather you speak tongue if you can do it. But if not, then just prophesy, right? Whatever language that is that you have. Read. Except he interpret. Uh -huh. Unless you interpret it, right? That the church may receive edified. Why? The whole point is that the church gets edified. If I speak in a different language, right? He speaks Creole, right? If I'm teaching a brother that might be that, you know, if I'm teaching... He can interpret it. Or I can interpret it for him. He said, that's the point of being able to speak in a different tongue. Why? Because the, so the church can get edified. Not because just to know the name or just to know a, another language. It's so the church can, the whole purpose is to edify the church of God. So speaking in tongues, there's usually a message that comes with it. Speaking in tongues, I mean, when, the when message is, the, is God regardless. At that, at that point right there. Yes. When they were speaking in, in, in different tongues and languages, they were understanding each other. That was crossing the bridge between them not understanding each other, right? Yes, so like you can say that. Yes, right. that's why that's why he talks about answers and interpreter. Mind you, Moses didn't speak uh, good Hebrew, right? Who was his interpreter? Aaron was his interpreter. That's what Corinthians is saying right here. Unless he's interpreted. Moses is supposed to hear Aaron, Aaron interpreted to the people. You know what I'm saying? That's the point, read. Verse 6. Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit? Except I shall speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge or by prophecy or by doctrine. He said, what's it going to profit you unless I come to you uh, teaching you a revelation, right? Give it uh, revelation, right? Prophesying or by doctrine. That's how it's going to profit you, right? I can't come up to you talking a language you don't understand because it's not going to profit you. Bro. I can only come to you and talk to you the language that you can understand to edify you. That's the whole point. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. 
Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth